Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. And in today's episode, we are going to learn all about query parameters. What are query parameters? What are the use cases? Why do we need them? And how do we use them? We'll learn all about that in this particular tutorial. Welcome back, my name is Sridhar. I bring over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer. I am here to share my knowledge with you also to learn from you all. During the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, if you have any technical queries, please feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. I've created a full playlist for you, which has now around 35 tutorials. Plus, uh, if you are really looking forward to learn Angular and master Angular, you must check that out tutorial. I'm sure that you would be able to master Angular after going through that tutorial playlist. So please uh, do check it out. The links are in the description box below. All right, so so far um, in the past few episodes, we are thoroughly learning about Angular routing. In the previous episode, we learned about parameterized routes, but previously we have covered some more topics on routing as well as all other features on Angular. So routing, uh, we are focusing on routing. So today we are going to learn about query parameters. Now, what are, what are query parameters? So whenever you come across URLs, wherever you will see something like a question mark followed by some tags, followed by, by some parameters and values. Uh, these can be UTM codes. This can be usually get calls, GET, right? Uh, that's an HTTP method. We'll learn about that uh, later when we start doing a full stack uh, application building. So remember, your URLs, uh, query parameters are available in your URL, which are visible to the user, right? Let me show you an example, what I mean. Now, if you see query params, right? So query params, uh, they will be looking something like this. Like if you have search um, .php, and then you should, you will say tag equal to say USA, or you can go to Twitter twitter.com slash search and then you'll see query parameter equal to trending right equal to country equal to usa trending top 10 country usa so you see these are all visible in your url okay so this this is publicly available usually these are get calls right the get http calls http method calls uh, visible to, these are visible to the end users. So, uh, whenever you implement query parameters, um, make sure no sensitive, sensitive information is captured via query params, right? So, no login, no passwords, no credit cards, etc etc all sensitive information should not be used in query params nor in parameters it should always be they should always be post calls okay so coming back to query params now query params are passed in the url right are passed in the url right like this now these are http calls these are visible to end users. And fourth, let's learn hands-on how to implement them. How to implement them, okay? So let's see that now. So I'm going to create a new component first. Let's create a new component and call it ng generate component search, okay? Uh, I'm creating a new component. I will configure and I'll say I'll pass some parameters. I want to search the products. Uh, so now we'll go to our routing and by the way, if you have not checked out the other parameter, other tutorials on dynamic routing like parameters, configuring these, please do so. Please do check it out previous episodes. Now in the path I'm saying, I'm doing search, and then I'm saying component and the component name is search component. I'm using an editor which will already import it, but in your case, you might want to import it manually. So make sure make sure that you import it first and then add it here in the component, okay? So I'm saying whenever there is a path 
it says slash search, you should configure it to search component. Let's get this working first. So here we'll say search and we should see search works, right? This is good so far, so good. Now what we will say is we'll go to the search component component class, right? And here we'll inject activated route. So here I will say private activated route, right? So now it's easy for us to capture the parameters. So how do we do that? We will write a subscribe event for dot query params dot subscribe. And we will read the data that is being passed from that subscribe call, right? So we are subscribing to that data and whenever we get the data, we will, we will console log that, right? So let's say here I am going to say, here I'm going to just console log for now and show you the difference. Uh, here I'll say data, okay? So when I say data, now it will print all the data. Let's see now. I'm going to open my inspector and in the console, I'll clear everything. Okay, so now keep an eye on this instead of iPad, I'm making it responsive or I'm going to make it inside. Okay, so it's much easy for you to see. So now I'm putting question mark, right? And I'm saying tag equal to say New York, enter. Do you see here? It says tag New York, which got captured in the console. Now I'm going to also pass more now and I'm saying trending equal to 10. So now you see it captured two. It's a basically an object and I'm saying country equal to USA. So now you see three, right? All the three are correctly captured. Now we know the what are the tag names. Let go, let's go back to our component and fix that. So here I'll say query country equal to and then I'm going to say query tag equal to then I'm going to say query uh, what else is there query tag trending trending equal to say 5 okay so here now we will assign that values query country equal to data dot country and similarly we'll capture and say query tag here we'll say tag here we'll say query trending here we will say trending okay in the HTML I'm going to create here and I'm going to search para query parameters passed right so I'll say country then I'll say tag so I'm going to use a parameter here and a p tag again here just to separate it out so it's much readable for you uh, okay and then we are going to use one more here we are going to use country here going we are going to put tag I'll format it in just a bit trending okay okay there are some shortcuts that I use uh, to format so I will teach you that in the probably next uh, tutorial or so so for, let's for now let's put it here and say uh, query country and similarly I'm going to copy this here and this will become country tag query trending so now we should see whatever we have entered so now you see country USA it was here tag New York tag is New York trending is 10 trending is 10 now let's change it here 
now we see country got changed to India now I'm going to change tag to say Delhi so now it is Delhi now I want 50 so now we have 50 right so this is how we will capture our query parameters uh, I hope you like this video if you have any doubts drop them in the comment section below please don't forget to subscribe to my channel I request you go back to the starting of the video try hands-on with me slowly go check out each and everything in detail let me know if you have any doubts thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode where we will cover how to redirect the routes uh, to other routes thank you so much see you in the next episode